Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Matilde and today I just want to tell you what I'm going to change in my lifestyle because I want to live a more conscious and sustainable life. I am not telling you that you have to put into practice these actions too. I just want to explain to you a few things that I've learned recently and that can inspire you, but then only you can decide to take what I say into consideration or not. Honestly, I don't know why I've opened my eyes on a lot of things recently. Maybe it's because I follow a lot of people on social media that inspire me and that have a positive impact on me. I leave you here a few people that I follow and that are really inspiring and that promote a good and sustainable lifestyle. I think it's really easy to pretend that everything we do is fine and that everything is happening to our planet is fine because in this way we don't feel responsible and so we, we don't feel the need to do something. And if we want to have a future, and a good future, not a bad one, we absolutely need to do something today. I've always been that kind of person who was like, well, I don't use plastic straws or plastic bags or plastic bottles, and so I'm doing a lot of positive things and I am okay. That was true, I mean, I was doing something, but I really feel like now I can do way more things. I cannot pretend everything is fine anymore. So in today's video, I don't want to talk about the things that we always hear about, like avoiding plastic bags, because first of all, I have already implemented those habits into my lifestyle and two because we all know that or at least i hope so i mean we all know that we shouldn't use plastic and that plastic is bad and so i don't want to be like repetitive on tv on youtube everybody's talking about this so i think we all know the rules in this video i want to talk about four specific aspects of my life that i want to improve and be more conscious about. I wrote down a few things, a few notes, because I just want to make sure that I say everything I want to say. I want to be more aware of what I wear, what I eat, what I put on my skin and what I own. So the first category, as I said, is what I wear. So recently I've learned a lot about fast fashion and just let me tell you that it is not a good thing. I think a lot of people don't think about what they wear. There's a documentary, I really recommend you to watch it. It's called The True Cost and basically it's all about fast fashion. They really talk about the negative impact that fast fashion has. If you don't know what fast fashion is, basically it includes all the shops and brands that creates a lot of clothes every single week. So we don't have like four seasons, but we have like 52 seasons. So every week there's something new to buy. And this means that they produce a large quantity of clothes. I'm talking about, for example, Lululemon, Topshop, Pull&Bear, Zara, H&M. I think we all have these clothes in our closet because they are really cheap. They are too cheap. This means that the materials are bad and so they have a lot of chemicals and having chemicals on our skin is not good because they get into our circulation system and into our blood. Workers, so people that create our clothes, are not getting paid or are not getting paid enough. A lot of brands also use animal products, to create like bags and also fast fashion is really really bad for the environment the washing process i'm not a professional i don't know the terms but basically every time they wash the clothes this water goes into like the earth okay i i don't know how to explain that just watch that documentary it's mind-blowing it just opens your eyes a lot so from now let's say I, I don't want to buy fast fashion clothes anymore. I absolutely want to buy clothes or accessories or stuff in general from sustainable and ethical brands. I mean, I, I really want to be aware of 
where my clothes come from and of the materials that are in contact with my skin. If you have any brand recommendation, just let me know because I need to buy a few things. I don't know a lot of ethical brands or sustainable brands, so yeah please let me know then what i eat i have watched another documentary it's called what the health and oh my gosh guys i am impressed basically they talk about the fact that animal products are not good for our health and i already knew that but the problem and something that was like i'm shocked is that this guy that is filming the documentary noticed that a lot of cancer associations are recommending people to eat animal products even if a lot of scientific articles are saying that they can lead to cancer so basically this guy is like why do they recommend something that is leading people to have cancer he found out that a lot of associations are sponsored by McDonald's, Burger King and it's crazy. We usually are like, okay, this association is really important and well known. I believe in everything they say. But guys, that's not <laughs> that's not healthy because it is not true. They are just saying that you have to eat something because they are sponsored. I mean, I don't eat a lot of animal products. I eat meat once a week, I eat fish once a week, I eat cheese once a week and eggs once a week. And 80% of my diet is kind of vegan, but now I really want to be more vegan. And now there's like the coronavirus outbreak here in Italy, so I cannot go to a nutritionist, but I think this is something that I really want to do after this is over I really want to go to a nutritionist to create my diet and I really want to be more plant-based this is something that I'm already doing like I'm trying to avoid animal products more than I was doing before and I'm doing this because of my health basically but also obviously for the environment and for animals there's a lot to say about this so I'm not this is not the right video but yeah I really want to change a little bit the way I eat I want to know that I'm eating healthy food and not something that is damaging my body I want to be more aware of what I put on my skin this is a huge topic basically I found out that everything I have, like my shower gel, my shampoo, my conditioner, like everything I put on my body is not good. I mean, has a lot of chemicals. These chemicals go into our blood and I was scared. I am already buying a few products. What I want to do is I want to buy vegan, cruelty-free, natural, organic products for my skin, for my hair, for my makeup. This is hard because I've just realized that everything I have is really bad. I am already buying a few products and I will absolutely film a video about my sustainable haul for clothes and skincare and makeup and everything because I think it can be helpful for you if you want to start doing this things too. Not only are these products negative for our skin, but they also are really negative for the environment and for animals because oftentimes they are tested on animals. The red color in a lot of red lipsticks is an animal product. That's not okay. Then last but not least, I want to be more aware of what I own. I'm really aware of what I own, but I want to be more conscious about it. Three years ago, almost, I read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. My life changed and I've started being like, I want to be a minimalist. This book is not just about tidying up and the art of tidying up, but also about minimalism and 
basically the fact that we should only own the things that bring joy to our life and not owning a lot of things that we don't really like or that we don't really use I am obsessed with that because when I have a lot of things and I know that I have like 40 t-shirts I just feel really overwhelmed and this is not like healthy for my mental health. What I'm doing and what I'm going to do even more is that I am decluttering a lot of things. I have been selling a lot of things. I just wanna have the things that bring joy to my life and that I really like and that are important for me. Almost two years ago I moved to Milan and this was really helpful from that point of view because I have a small apartment there and so I only had to take the things that were really important for me and this also made me realize that I don't need a lot of things. I mean when I have the things that I like, like I don't know five t-shirts, they are enough. You don't need 20 or 40 of them because you're not gonna use them. There's a really good documentary that I've seen recently that is called Minimalism and it's really beautiful. If you have never heard about minimalism, this is the right documentary. It just gives you an overview on minimalism and it's really well done. There is a quote that I remember that is like, love people and use things. The opposite will never work. And that's so true. When you have less things, you are more focused on your relationships and on people that are in your life. And this is what matters in life, you know, Happiness doesn't come from a lot of objects, but it comes from our relationships. And if you are a minimalist, you have to really ask yourself, do I really need this thing before buying something? This has a good impact on the environment too, because if you don't buy a lot of things, you give this idea of like, you don't have to produce so many things because I'm not gonna buy them. And also if you don't buy a lot of things that are plastic made, you are doing something great. We should really be aware of what we buy because if we buy something, it means that this has been produced and using maybe plastic or just creating pollution. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. I'm so sorry, but I really wanted to be exhaustive and I really wanted to tell you everything because I really care about this. I'm really, really happy that I've shifted my mindset and that I'm doing this right now because I know it takes some effort but I also know it is worth it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Just remember to hit the bell so that you will get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye guys!